percent of error is the amount of the error divided by the actual amount of something. So let's look at a real life situation. Let's say you fill bags with about 16 ounces of homemade dog treats. The acceptable percent error when filling a bag is 5%. We're gonna fill bag A and it's gonna end up with 15% and we're gonna fill bag B with 16 and a half ounce, I mean not percent ounces. Bag A has 15 ounces, bag B has 16.5 ounces. Let's see if these bags are acceptable. So if we got the percent error, I think I'll call that PE, the amount of error would be, it's supposed to be 16, but we only have 15. So 16 minus 15, the um, amount of error is always gonna be positive divided by the actual amount it's supposed to be is 16. So that's one over 16. Okay, let's divide one by 16, and that's gonna be um, zero, 0 0.0625. And if I turn that into a percent by moving the decimal two places to the right with the Dr. Pepper rule, that's 6.25%. This is not acceptable. You would feel like you were being cheated out of product if you bought this one. Now bag B has 16 and a half ounces. So the percent error for this one would be the 16.5 minus 16. This is how much they put in. This is how much they were supposed to put in divided by the original actual amount, which is 16. Well, 16.5 minus 16 leaves a 0 0.5 divided by 16. So let's divide that. 0 0.5 divided by 16 is um, 0 0.03125. And then if we move that decimal two places to the right, that's 3.125. So this one is less than 5%, so this is an acceptable error.